Hello and welcome to another episode of Grad School Now. I am your host, Rose Rodriguez. In today's episode, we'll be featuring the Masters of Social Work program. Our graduate recruiter, Stephanie Ozuna, speaks with program director and chair for the Department of Social Work, Dr. Hector Diaz, to point out the latest on what these programs have to offer. Welcome to another episode of Grad School Now. I'm Stephanie Ozuna, your graduate school recruiter, and on today's episode, we will be talking about our Masters of Social Work program. And today's featured guest will be Dr. Hector Diaz, the Department Chair of Social Work. Welcome, Dr. Diaz. Good morning, Stephanie. It's a pleasure to be here. It's thank you for being here and taking that time out of your schedule. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and start off by if you can tell me a little bit about yourself, your educational background, and how you came to be a part of the social work field? Well, I have a long trajectory. Uh, I came to the U.S. 33 years ago. Uh, I completed my master's in social work at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, and that was back in 1980. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I earned my doctoral, uh, doctoral degree in social work from the University of Illinois at Chicago, the Jane Addams College of Social Work. Um, so I have been a social worker for approximately 32 years. I've been teaching for approximately 20. Uh, I have taught in a few universities in the U.S. And I have been in Texas for the last 12 years working for the University of Texas. Before I came to Pan Am, I was directing a Ph.D. program at UT Arlington. And for the last six years, I have been directing the Department of Social Work here. Great. That's a great history you have there in the, in the field of social work. Yeah. Um, here at UTPA, can you tell me why someone should come here to UTPA for social work to get their master's in social work? Tell us about the program. Well, uh, there are many things I could tell you about the program. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is that UTPA is the only university south of San Antonio and south of Houston that has an accredited bachelor's and master's in social work. And so if you're in, in the border region, in this part of the country, you don't have many other options. Uh, secondly, we have a master's program with two concentrations. And these two concentrations uh, reflect the need or the needs of this area. One of the concentrations is uh, direct services to Latino individuals, families, and groups. And we have done that given that the population in this area is 90 percent, uh, in our county, is 90 percent uh, Mexican-American or Latino. Uh, in Stark County, we know it's like 97 percent. Mm -hmm. So we have a direct practice concentration, and we also have an administration and community practice concentration that is also very concerned with providing students with the cultural competence that they need in order to be ef effective practitioners. Great. So it's really unique to this specific area, the Rio Grande Valley. That is right. And something else that I would like to share, because m many people may not know it, is that any person with a bachelor's degree in any discipline could earn or could be admitted to a master's degree in social work. Uh, we have a two-year program for people who have a bachelor's, bachelor's degree in a discipline different from social work. And people who have a bachelor's in social work and had a good GPA, they could be eligible for advanced standing. And that means that they could finish the master's in social work in a year and a summer. Oh, that's awesome. So, but everybody has the opportunity of earning the master's degree regardless of the degree that they have. Mm -hmm. So, so if someone's looking to maybe change careers, pathways, or they went down psychology or some other different pathway, they can definitely come into the social work program. Definitely. We have many students with degrees in sociology, anthropology, criminal justice, political science. Uh, but even students, you know, with degrees in areas that are not part of the social and behavioral sciences mm -hmm. could, you know, get a degree in social work. Great. What can someone expect uh, career-wise when they get a master's degree in social work? Where are graduates going after, after they get this degree? Well, let me say that the, the master's degree in social work is one of the most versatile degrees a person could get mm -hmm. because it enables you to practice in a diversity of settings. A, a person with a master's degree in social work could work, for instance, as a medical social worker in a hospital, a mental health or psychiatric social worker in a mental health center. They could work in the area of adoptions. They could become administrators of human services. Uh, they could work in the area of community development and microeconomic development. 
they could be clinicians, family therapists. There's a wide variety of options for people who have uh, degrees in social work. And there is an increasing demand for people with master's degrees in social work. And if we have some people that are motivated enough to get their doctoral degree, there is a huge demand in the state of Texas and in the United States for people with doctoral degrees in social work who are bilingual. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So there is a demand. I mean, you can find social works in pretty much any field of work. So I definitely it would yeah. be a good gr degree to get. Something else I would like to say mm -hmm. is that uh, social work, uh, the master's in social work is one of the very few degrees a person could get to become an independent mental health practitioner. Mm -hmm. Uh, in most states, you have to be a psychiatrist, a clinical psychologist, or a social worker to become a licensed mental health practitioner. In some states, you can have a, a license um, as a LPC, licensed professional counselor. Mm -hmm. And if you have like a degree in marriage and family therapy, you might be able to get that, uh, that license. But for the most part, you need to have a degree in psychiatry, uh, psychology, social work, and other counseling professions or counseling disciplines. Okay. Um, our program here at UTPA, how is it set up? I mean, can somebody who's working full-time come back to school? Is there online classes, maybe classes in other locations? Well, let me tell you, we in the master's program are, think very much about people who are working, uh, working people and people who have families. The master's program here on campus is offered mostly as an evening program. So people who work and decide to go to school part-time mm -hmm. could come here and take two evening courses during the week and work towards their master's in social work on a part-time basis. We have also started, uh, three years ago, we started a distance education program. And through this distance education program, we're delivering our master's and bachelor's in social work in Laredo and Brownsville. Mm -hmm. So people as far as Laredo, which is three hours away, or people in Brownsville can earn a degree in social work in their respective towns without having to travel anywhere. Great. And those courses are offered through a combination of Blackboard, teleconference, and face-to-face -face courses. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like a neat opportunity. I mean, that way, if you live in Laredo, you don't have to physically come to campus. Uh, we come to you. That is right. And we have already graduated a cohort of students from Laredo. Okay. And these are people who are working and Without our program, they would have to travel to San Antonio or travel here to earn their degree. The difference that we're making is that we're taking the degree to them. Great. Well, thank you so much for all the information you've given us here today. I'm sure hopefully some of our viewers out there, maybe in Brownsville or Laredo, get interested um, in our master's program because we come to them. And anybody in the surrounding areas, McAllen, Edinburgh, uh, we, we, we ask you to come uh, check out our program here at UTPA. So thank you so much, Dr. Diaz, for being on our show today. You're very welcome. And I would like to say that they could go to our website, in, in mm -hmm. the university website, or they could also call 665-3575 mm -hmm. for more information. Great. Well, thank you for being on our show again. And for any of you viewers out there who are interested in applying to our Masters of Social Work program, uh, who need to learn a little bit about our program requirements, they're listed on our website at www.utpa.edu forward slash grad school, or you can call our office at 956-665-3661. Now I'll hand it back to Rose for more on our featured student. Thanks, Stephanie. And now for some quick announcements. We will be having a graduate school information session on Friday, June 22nd from 4 to 6 p.m. and from 6 to 8 p.m. at the McAllen Teaching Site. Come by if you would like to learn about the admission requirements, speak directly with current graduate students, or get financial aid and scholarship information. If you attend, you will also have a chance to win a Kindle Fire or other door prizes. The Graduate Resource Center will also be hosting a workshop on financial aid and scholarships on June 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. at the University Ballroom. And now on to our featured student, Jorge Munoz, who is currently a student in the Masters of Social Work program. My name is Jorge Munoz. I have a bachelor's in psychology from the University of Texas at Brownsville, and I also have two associates, one being an associate in Spanish translation and the other being an associate in social work. 
An important factor was that the university that I attended for undergrad, the University of Texas at Brownsville, does not offer a master's in social work. Uh, it was between the master's here in social work or the master's in uh, professional counseling at UTB. And I decided to come here because of the level of professionalism that the professor showed and how much um, the community, how well the community speaks about the program. It has to be general practice one with Dr. Panzero. She was able to show us the theory, but then also taught us how to apply it in real life and during class. It was very interactive, very fun, and uh, she's no longer here, but I think I will always remember her. Our curriculum does not make us write a, a research paper, make us do research. We do have the option to do it. However, we do do a practicum, which is 900 hours of community service that is split into two. One semester, your first year, you would do 400 hours, and your second year, you would do 500. Currently, I am, I'm, I'm doing my practicum at Esperanza Home for Boys, Southwest Keys in Brownsville, and we work with undocumented youth. With a lot of support from my family, I have two kids and a wife. Uh, she works full-time, and uh, I work part-time uh, at the current currently because of the semester how it worked out that I had to work 20 hours and then I needed the other 20 hours for my internship. Something that made me choose the program was the diversity of employment that you can find once you graduate. We're not very direct where you know a teacher can only go teach or you know a uh, physician assistant can only go work in a clinic. Our work is so diverse where you know we can work as a case manager, we can work as a probation officer, we can work as counselors and pretty much around the world the profession of social work is uh, honored and respected and it's very it's very inspiring where you're able to leave this country and go help a country in need and they'll respect your title. <laughs> My dream job has always been to work with juveniles that are, uh, they're called, you know, at risk. Either they're in gangs or gang dropouts or school, high school dropouts or, you know, they ended up in the juvenile detention center. This concludes another episode of Grad School Now. For further information, visit utpa.edu forward slash grad school, Facebook and YouTube. Till next time, I am Rose Rodriguez.